morning I was in Bryce Canyon National Park and I drove southwest for like an hour and then now I'm in Zion National Park the park itself is full of huge rocks it almost kind of reminds me of Yosemite and for the I was in Canyon Overlook Trail head and now I'm doing a hidden canyon trail so I was looking for some fall colors this whole trip and it seems like I finally found some in Zion um, I saw a lot of yellows and greens but it was hard to find some red leaves but if you I found a little bit in what was it called? Mount Rainier National Parks but in the valley I found a lot of fall leaves excited to capture them maybe tomorrow Top of this head too. Then what? You can make him go to sleep. They'll just lay there. Oh what? Oh. My God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can see your rib. Just like that. Hold on. Oh my God, that's so cute. So Adam has a uh, put the lizard to sleep. Look, it's just laying there. Oh my gosh. Only in Zion can you do stuff like this, right? <laughs> That's so cool. Bye-bye, lizard. This is amazing. Look at this, people. Rock formation. We're still going. To the top. Wow. Explain the beauty of this. Um, mochita. Mochita? Mochita. Mochita. It's like cool. It's cool. Mochita. Mot. Mot. Eat. Eat. Ta. Mot. Eat. Ta. Uh huh. Mot. Eat. Ta. Uh huh. That means cool in Korean. Yep. But we also use the word cool too. Awesome. Hey, my daughters used to listen to K-pop music. Oh, what they is it called? Into it. <laughs> So I was gonna hike the Hidden Canyon t today and accidentally missed this side trail and hike about halfway up to the observation point which I was trying to go like in two days. So I'm I'm hiking the Hidden Canyon now. Seems like there are a lot of goat and sheep. Oops, what is that? Hopefully I find one. I think I'm almost at the top of the canyon. And look at this frog and this formation and colors. It's just Absolutely stunning. Oh my god, I love this. I love rocks. The trail is so narrow. And then right there is just um 
cliff, kind of, or narrows. I think that's the top, maybe. I'm not sure. Let's keep going. So somehow I'm trying to get through this narrow point. That's about it. And then it gets narrower. Oh, sorry. Hi. Oh, <laughs> what is this? No. There's a giant rock in front of me. And a whole lot of beach. Like super fine. Like super fine sand. People said there's an arch in like 10 more minutes. So I'm gonna hit that and then trail back. Look what I found, it's a big horn sheep. Oh my God, this is so cool. Oh, are you gonna come down? Holy cow! It ran to the opposite side. So today is the 20th day of my 30 days um, camper van trip and around national parks in the United States. And I'm in Zion National Park today. I, I arrived here yesterday and then I did a, two hikes and today I'm trying to do this 16, 17 miles um, starting from the uh, lava point, which is the start of the West Rim Trail, and then all the way down to Zion Canyon. Yep, um, I think it's gonna take like seven, eight hours, but I already like this view because I think rocks, but more, I like rocks, but like. In desert, you it's hard to see all these green trees that are behind me, right beside me. And as much as I like rocks, I like greens too. So for me, this is like the perfect combination. I'll see a lot of canyons and giant rocks on the way. So yeah, it's going to be a fun day. Look at this, just absolutely gorgeous. The top, another top. Is that uh, Angel's Landing and that one's Observation Point? I don't know. So I'm at the Potato Hollow right here and it's time to filter some water. Let's go for water. So I got this MSR um, trail shot. I think it's called trail shot. And you can directly, it can be directly connected to this um, 
what do you call this? Bladder, like the mouthpiece. And then you can pump directly into this hose to the bladder. So let's see, I think there's um I think I'm hearing a stream right there. What a bummer. It turned out the water was super low and it was there was a bunch of flies, it was dirty. I wasn't sure if I wanna drink the water, so I'll just pass I guess. Look at this completely burned tree. Oh, I wonder how big was this. This big. So that's the footprint of deer. Now I know because I met them in Glacier. Finally, there's some fall colors going on. And I thought this trail was going to be all the way downhill, but what is this uphill? Come on. Chipmunk is meditating on top of this huge rock. There. Look at the burnt huge tree over there. Right there. And I think this canyon is called Telephone Canyon. It's amazing, massive. Oh my god, it's just a massive pile of rocks. That's Angel's Landing. Someone's flying drone. Oh, that's prohibited. Angels landing. Make your feet down. It's just a crazy cliff. <laughs> that drone's annoying. Mm -hmm. So there is a bus. Shuttle bus going to the Narrows. Side is sponsored by Bureau of Land Management, which is also known as BLM. 
So you can just literally park anywhere. And this side, look at this, this side has this campfire rig. I don't know why I'm opening all of my van, but like uh, here's some random cactus buried under the land. I love how everyone's just smiling, saying hi. Like there are bigger RVs right here, smaller car with a tent. So cute, I just love it. And the view, look at this view. This mountain kind of, and the other stuff. Another stuff. Sunset's gonna happen soon. Today's, today's sunset. Oh my god, this is just unbelievable. Oof. Can't stop looking at it. Dry shoes, neoprene socks. Kinda reminds me of um, very new, like five bucks neoprene socks in Bolundo with Patagonia members. I got food. I packed a lot of water too because I was super dehydrating yesterday. The round trip is about 10 miles, 6 hours. The round trip is 10 miles and 6 hours. And it's all in water. Let's see how it goes. So this is the start of the trail. So this is the start of the trail. And I'm walking in the water, trying not to trip over. And if you look here, water is not in my feet yet. Let's see how long it takes before the water comes into my feet. Now it's knee high. The water is super deep down there. Tired after that hike. I don't know what's wrong. Yep. I don't know what's wrong, but like 
I think it's um the hike after yesterday. The hike yesterday's hike was pretty tough, and then on top of that, maybe this was too much. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna rest for the rest of the day and do something, some light hikes tomorrow. It is a beautiful day today. I just watched the sunrise and then made some teas. Oops. Dropped some water. I made some teas and on the cores I burnt the bottom part of the sleeve because I thought it wasn't on. So I made co um, tea with stash chai spice black tea and almond breeze. Super delicious. Cooking time. I burnt it. The thing with this burner is that the fire, I can't really control it. If I like dial it a little down, it just turns off. Oh well. Nothing is untrue, nothing don't matter, it's all notions of our emotions, of everything we are. Climbing day. Are you walking? So that was a fun hike, I mean, that was a fun climbing and I'm gonna do a short hike to Emerald Pools and then I just found a perfect shower spot for myself at the museum so I'm gonna shower there after the hike and call it a day. There are many places in Zion that are unique. We call this canyon Mukuntawi, meaning. The emerald pool was fine. Really, it was nothing more than a, like an algae field pool, kind of. Disappointed underwhelming.
which is pretty bad and I don't know how I feel about bringing the rent van to here but it was I mean there were there was a legit camping site people were there like maybe people who didn't want to spend money or people who didn't get any site on the Zion both for me so yeah um, overall camping near Zion is really good because it's very close to um to the um park entrance so my first attempt to find the progeny peak and two pine arches i don't know it didn't work i don't think it didn't work i got lost on the way up i don't know if it's this side or that side the guide said go northeast which is that way but then to me the map seems like two arches and the peak is over there so I'm just gonna pass this one and try the other um try the other three peaks on the way out So I'm on my way to find some petroglyphs on the wall, like on the rock like this. And apparently I took the opposite way again. And I'm heading out to the trailhead. Back to the origin point. Why not? I can walk. Yes, I found the tunnel. So if you go past through this tunnel, there will be a petroglyphs, like um, human figures and whatnot. Let's see what kind of drawings are there. And I guess I first need to find where they are. So, this is another dead end. I guess I had to um, take a left turn somewhere. What the hell? Why is um, route finding this difficult? Was it supposed to be this difficult? Why is it giving me so hard time? Uh, oh man, and there's no service at all, so I can't see the map. I don't know where I am. I think I found it, so before I went, this way, but apparently there's another road right here. And the uh, description said they are on the cliff wall separated by the wooden fence. So I guess this is the cliff. And there should be some petroglyphs. Oh, there's something written on it. I guess this is it. Finally, an hour of, oh yeah. Yeah, 
It's so much. Oh, there's a lot of I found it. Human figures. Some kind of snail figures. And there are some more, more human figures. Snails. Why do they all look like these? Oh yeah, I think they're dancing. I guess they were happy. This is called Mission Complete. Found those. And those. And those. Yes. Zion, this it's just not interesting or maybe I'm not too tired I'm too tired but still it's a cool place <laughs> 